okay so hello guys one of our biggest problem during animation creation is work cycle and on this tutorial I want to describe the difference between creating um, work cycle using bones and the frame by frame work cycle in moho studio and this is this could be actually daunting because if you are very much used to using bones smart bones to create animation while creating a work cycle using frame by frame these are the major steps you need uh, to take to be able to create this type of animation the first is the contact then the down phase then the passing phase and the up phase now these are the four steps instead of going ahead to create the animation um, frame by frame one by one all you have to do is just create this four phase and you succeed in creating a work cycle and the first two phases you are to create is the contact phase and the passing phase then you bring in the down phase and the up phase now if you're able to put all these four together you have created an amazing work cycle the first thing you need to do here is you create a frame by frame layer by going to your layer here and go to frame by frame and create a frame by frame layer once you click that you will get this um, layer with the three boxes in there and you can name it whatever you want all right so the next thing for you to do is <clears throat> what i did here is i created a different normal vector layer then i had these lines in so that to suggest to me to suggest to me this is just more like a guideline for me to suggest i have where the head is then i have the torso then i have where the leg is just, just to give me a guide and also make sure you turn on your onion skin turning on your onion skin will help you will help show you where your frames are to be placed so that when you create your animation everything will be in line all right so the first thing i did was to just you know take my vectors and just start drawing out the at first i sketched out the character you could see i i have turned on my onion skin here at the initial part at frame zero it just sketched out the character like this so i have a simple sketch then i hit the plus sign here which brought me here to this frame where with my onion skin turned on i could see the initial frame that's what the onion skin does so it shows me what's up so what i'm doing at frame one now is that i'm redrawing out my that sketched part that i have properly all right because this is what i want so while i draw this out properly what i will do is in the next frame <clears throat> for this next one all i have to do is just you know recouple them to fit their positions and i'm done and this why i'm doing it like this is because if you have a full character you can go ahead and you know create the head separately create the hands create the body create the legs and all you have to do is just adjust the parts for it to you know um, be animated the way you want it to be animated and and the next pose for us to create is either this pose the down pose or the passing pose so what, what, but what i'll do is i'll create this passing pose then after we have created this passing pose then we'll come back and insert the down pose and the up pose to create our work cycle perfect like i said before since we are just dealing with vectors all you have to do is just highlight and copy the the frames and paste on the next frame when you add a frame and you adjust accordingly you all you have to do is just adjust the pose to fit the work cycle that is it as simple as it is and you can see what i'm doing right here i copy and paste again and i adjust the foot i adjust the legs also and after this i'll copy i'll highlight copy and paste again then i'll adjust the character you know normally you will have to redraw this redraw this but since you are dealing with vector it is very easy because you are just going to adjust the points and it makes your work much more neat and this is the same thing you do if you have a full complete character with clothing all you'll be doing is just adjusting point so it's the same thing as redrawing since you are dealing with frame by frame and make sure to always put the parts of the body that needs to be behind and those that needs to be in front properly yeah, I got these frames are actually very close to themselves and what we have created here still need 
more frames in between to make it you know work uh, perfectly well so the next thing for us to do is hold highlight these frames here hold um, alt on your keyboard and drag them to scale the frames now if you are conversant with walk cycles most of the time while using um, your your bones your smart bones this is what we normally do we have our first frame our second frame at 6 12 we normally use like 24 frames on the timeline to make our work cycle you know work perfectly well for us so if we do this so you could see that our work cycle is perfect so what we have to do right now is make a repeat of this um, animation take note here the up pose is much more higher than the contact pose and the passing pose so just like we did for the down pose is we just go into our draw tool here and pick our select tool and select up onto this path and hold shift and just drag it hold shift and drag it up a bit above the line so it will show our up pose then this it will be much more distinctive from our down pose all right so if you notice something please take note of this when you drag phase um, pose one up onto this point it's at frame six it switches on frame seven and if you notice it switches on frame 13 it switches on frame 19 then at frame 24 frame 24 exactly it um, switches so there is nothing at frame 24 so while using mobile studio I noticed that if you copy this frame just as it is because you might be tempted to copy it like this ctrl C then you jump to frame 30 and you paste it what will happen is between frame 24 and 30 there will be nothing all right it disappears so if you are trying to you know make a loop of this animation you will have something like this then it disappears and starts again so that is not what you want and you can also go ahead and highlight uh, I think if you highlight this and use the the circle interpolation available on moho studio i've not tried this before but let me try it so you hit circle so you could see it circles from frame 24 to frame one so if we play this let's see how it loops so you could see it's still disappearing a little bit but it's working right and you don't want that we can still go ahead and adjust that but to make your life really easy what you should do is highlight these frames alone all right and copy it and you start it exactly at frame 24 where it disappears so that the contact frame will start exactly at frame 24 so control c control v all right so when it comes to this as it plays it continues exactly so at this frame frame 10, um, 41 you paste again all right so you can go ahead and highlight this whole frame now that we have much of them control c then you come to this point at frame 58 you paste again then you can go ahead and highlight this again ctrl c at frame 110 you paste again so you could see your character let me turn this off so you could see it working yeah, I got it. During your walk cycle, for the first time as a beginner, it is very easy for you to make um, certain mistakes. Take for example, you have um, your motion from here, you have your contact. If you notice, take a, take a good note with the, foot, with the footing that I have created here. The mistake started from this point, all right? So the, the leg, this, um, well I say the left leg right now is behind. And the right leg in front but if you look at this one the left leg is in front and the right leg is behind or vice versa depending on how you want to do it so you need to take note of the leg positioning so because of the way I started this leg positioning there is a mistake when it comes to this point all right so and when the character is walking it looks as if he's using one leg to walk consistently so we will have to quickly switch that and really switching that is one of the most easiest thing to do just like i showed you initially always take note of the leg positioning while creating 
your animation so now let's bring this leg here to the front and send this to the back just by highlighting this and raise to the front sorry about that raise to the front um, and lower to the back all right so we've lowered this to the back and if you notice i have raised this to the front but you can't see it because of the way i adjusted the the leg so all i have to do is go inside of the character here and make it visible that the the, the leg is in front something like this so while animating your own character you definitely if it's a full character and not a sketchy character like this you would have you know your colors to separate take for example if the leg is behind this leg might be a bit darker than than the color of the one in front something like that so now we have our leg in front right so it looks perfectly well and the hand also this hand is in front and this one is behind so when we come to this part also we want this leg also to be in front and this one to be behind all right so what we'll do again we'll raise to the front and this lower to the back all right then i'll adjust this to make it look exactly like the leg is in front and this this is a common mistake anybody could make um, whether you are a pro or not is something that could happen to anybody i just i uh, wanted to take note of wanted you to take note of that because most of the time this actually happens it does happen while creating a work cycle and if you are not that um conversant with the work cycle you may start to wonder what is happening and why is your character working the way it's working all right then at this point also I think this point is correct this leg is this one is now in front and the other one is um, behind all right then for the last one and we have this leg this one should be in front this one should be in front while this one is sort of behind right so if we look at the walk now you can see the character walking I think properly done before right so just like what we've been uh, trying to do so we'll repeat the same um, motion so we'll copy this ctrl C then uh, make sure it's at that same frame frame 25 ctrl C ctrl V then at frame 49 ctrl v then we'll highlight the bunch of them ctrl c then add frame 73 ctrl v so if we make if we look at this now let me turn this off so, so you can see the switching is perfect right now so in the next video i will explain to you how to create a perfect work cycle through the screen and i know you have enjoyed this tutorial perfectly well so do subscribe and turn on the bell notification to catch the next video on how to create a perfect work cycle like the one you're watching right now that walks through the screen thank you very much stay safe and stay blessed